Let's begin our analysis in the uh, straight coronal uh, grayscale views. These are maximal intensity projected images. Um, we see uh, evidence of a well-performed uh, study. Excellent uh, left-sided contrast enhancement. No gradient in uh, contrast as uh, time progresses through the acquisition of the scan. We see the origin of the left main coronary artery and are immediately able to uh, define what appears to be uh, some significant disease mixed density in the uh, in some portion of the left main coronary artery, the extent uh, we will determine subsequently. I'll center this particular uh, important segment of the vessel and analyze from the uh, axial orientation here. This is a uh, view as uh, we would be looking uh, from uh, below toward the uh, skull. This is a standard uh, image analysis um, orientation. I'll try to rotate the image slightly to maximize the um, insight we have into this what appears to be a very significant uh, left main uh, uh, area of stenosis. We see the bifurcation here. There is calcified and uncalcified elements which uh, continue out of the direction of the left anterior descending artery which we can uh, drag and expose just from slightly uh, changing the uh, viewing orientation of this vessel. There's uh, mixed density elements throughout the proximal and mid segments of this vessel. Here's a large uh, uh, right ventricular marginal branch arising from the LAD. Uh, again, a large uh, bifurcating diagonal vessel just here. No significant uh, disease noted of this element. However, as we go out uh, further and further, we see that this is a large apical wraparound vessel. If we uh, center and look at the left circumflex uh, coronary, well, we can open this uh, up as it goes uh, underneath the the left atrial appendage and we see evidence of uh, plaque of a, of a minor uh, uh, structural significance uh, but throughout the course of the AV groove a circumflex is a scattered atherosclerotic disease. If we go ahead and view uh, from a short axis uh, orientation selected on FOS orientation which will open up the circumflex from another uh, position we can pick up again uh, the AB groove segment with mixed density disease, two marginal arteries. And then if we come a little bit deeper, we can pick up the uh, dominant right coronary artery here. There is uh, mixed uh, density plaque and then there is uncalcified plaque in the proximal third and perhaps in the middle third along here, but nothing that appears to rise to the level of uh, functional, that it would rise to the level of functional significance in this uh, dominant circulation. We have a good chance to um, look at the integrity of the left ventricle from this uh, view and I'll sweep quickly out to the cardiac apex. Pay attention to the uh, symmetry of the ventricle, the normal wall thickness and uh, despite the presence of atherosclerosis um, in all three vessels, uh, in fact all four vessels including the left main, the ventricle itself appears uh, normal in uh, thickness and shows no evidence of previous uh, myocardial damage. So here in summary we see uh, the small uh, blue arrowhead indicating the mid left main plaque which appears to be of severe and likely to be obstructive severity. The small red arrowhead there uh, corresponds to uh, an entry area of soft plaque in the left circumflex. And here we have a direct uh, heart catheterization showing the uh, same rendering orientation of this severe left main stenosis for, uh, for uh, confirmation.